Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our online class. So, in today's class, we'll discuss uh, leftover topic in unit one, my introduction probability unit one. So, in last class, we completed Bayes theorem problems, right? So, in the next topic in unit one, we have random variables. Okay. Next topic is what? Random variables and random variables and types of random variables. Uh, next, probability mass function, probability density function, and mathematical expectation. These five topics are there. So we'll solve uh, uh, today. We'll discuss few topics in this. Uh, in these topics, ma. Okay. First one, random variables. See the definition of uh, random variable, ma. Now, see the definition of random variable, ma. A random variable capital X whose value a random variable capital X whose value is determined whose value is determined by the outcome of a random experiment. A random variable capital X whose value, how to determine this value, whose value is determined by the outcome of a random experiment is called a random variable. It is also called a stochastic variable. Ma. It is also called a stochastic variable. Next. And then what are the types of this random variable? Type We have two types of random variables. Ma. One is discrete random variable. Second one is continuous random variable. One is discrete random variable. And second one is continuous random variable then what is the definition of discrete random variable a random variable which can take only a finite number of discrete values a random variable which can take only finite only finite number of uh, discrete values in an interval of domain is called a discrete random variable it can be countable ma finite not infinite values next uh, that is called discrete random variable Next one, a random variable capital X which can take values continuously, which can take values continuously is called a continuous random variable. Okay. So next one, this is the top, this is the definition of random variable and types of random variables. Ma. Then uh, next one we have probability mass function. What we have? Ma? We have next one probability mass uh, function definition ma okay take down that probability mass function definition uh, one second next definition of probability mass function ma see here suppose capital x is a discrete random variable with the possible outcomes x1 x2 x3 so on and their po and their possible and their probabilities ma and their probabilities pi is equal to P of xi and their probability is pi is equal to p of xi where i is equal to 1, 2, 3 for i is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay. So what is here? Suppose capital X is a discrete random variable with the possible outcomes x1, x2, x3, so on, and their probabilities are what? P of xi. Now, if the numbers p of xi satisfies the two conditions, what these probabilities has to satisfy? P of xi should be greater than 0, greater than 0 uh, till less than or equal to 1, correct? It can be greater than 0, but not more than 1, right? So, 0 is less than P of i, P i is less than or equal to 1. The first condition is what? P of xi greater than 0. Second condition is what? If you add all the probabilities, you should get maximum how much ma? 1. Sigma P of xi is equal to 1. If these probabilities satisfy these two conditions, then the function P of x is called the probability mass function then the function p of x is called probability mass function of the random variable capital x and the set p of x is called discrete probability distribution and the set uh, and the set set uh, p of xi is called discrete ma p of xi is called uh, discrete probability distribution of the discrete random variable is called discrete probability distribution discrete probability distribution of the discrete uh, of the discrete one second it's not coming no discrete probability distribution of the uh, discrete random variable of the discrete random variable understand so this is the definition of probability mass function probability mass function next what we have we have probability density function ma next what we have we have probability 
density function okay so now let us see the definition of probability density function ma see the definition of probability density function ma the probability density function f capital x of x is defined as the derivative of the probability distribution function ma derivative of the probability distribution function f capital x of x of the random variable capital x that means you need to differentiate one time random variable capital x probability distribution function so that that means f capital x of x is equal d by dx of capital f of capital x of capital f of x capital x okay so you need to differentiate here random variables probability distribution function okay so this is the definition of the probability density function then what are the properties of this uh, probability density function ma we have properties probability properties of probability density function see here so properties what are the properties we have properties of probability density function first property small f of x is greater than or equal to 0 this is first property ma so for every x belongs to capital r next second property integral minus infinity to infinity integral minus infinity to uh, infinity to infinity f of x dx is equal to how much ma 1 this is second property then third property uh, p of e the probability p of e is equal to integral e f of x dx okay yeah, a probability of any event is what if you integrate f of x uh, e you will get the uh, p of e okay so these are the three properties of uh, this probability density function ma. three properties of probability density function okay then what is the last topic in this unit we have mathematical expectation we have last topic in this unit is what mathematical expectations right so mathematical expectation is nothing but what it's a mean ma. mathematical expectation is nothing but what mean okay so let us uh, see the topic also hmm. see the definition of mathematical expectation ma. suppose a random variable suppose a random variable capital x assumes the values x1 x2 so on xn with the respective probabilities p1 p2 so on pn then the mathematical expectation or mathematical expectation or mean or expected value of this random variable capital x denoted by e of x is defined as the sum of products of different values sum of product of different values of x and the corresponding probabilities and the corresponding probabilities therefore e of x is equal to x1 p1 plus x2 p2 plus so on xn pn that means e of x mean e of x is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n pi into xi what is pi here corresponding probability what is xi here outcomes correct x1 x2 x3 so on is what random variable outcomes ma right so this is the mean next we have variance ma next what we have variance right variance uh, variance can be defined as i am writing directly here uh, variance variance uh, sig it is denoted by the symbol sigma square variance uh, sigma square uh, this can be written as variance sigma square or you can say like this also variance of random variables capital x is equal to e of x square minus e of x uh, e of x whole square like this you can write one formula variance formula e of x variance variable uh, variance of capital x is equal to e of x square minus e of x whole square like this you can take uh, one formula ma. another formula variance uh, variance can also be right uh, sigma i is equal to 1 to n e of x square is what pi into x i square pi into x i square minus e of x is what mean no so e of x can also be defined as mean mu ma correct mean you can also write mean mu so you can take it as here mean mu square variance this one also we can write uh, sigma i is equal to 1 to n pi x i square minus mu square then what is the standard deviations ma standard standard deviation
standard deviation sigma this is denoted by the symbol sigma uh, standard deviation sigma is equal to square root of sigma i is equal to 1 to n pi xi square minus mu square standard deviation sigma is equal to standard deviation sigma is equal to square root of sigma i is equal to 1 to n pi xi square minus mu square okay so these are the uh, few uh, topics um, left out topics in uh, unit 1 definitions ma we discuss uh, random variable and uh, types of random variables and uh, in the types of random variable how many types we have we have one is a discrete random variable and second one is continuous random variable and we saw those uh, those the program variables definitions also next definition probability mass function and probability density function and this one is what mathematical expectation right now we solve a few problems on this uh, uh, these random variables and this probability density function probability mass function and continuous random variable few problems we will solve huh? so that uh, after solving these problems we will complete this unit ok. So, let us uh, start the problems see the first problem huh? A random variable capital X has the following probability distribution uh, x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and p of their probability is k, 2k, 3k, 4k, 5k, 6k, 7k, 8k. Then what is asking here find what is asking ma find first bit find k correct find these values ma first one uh, find k value then p of capital X is less than or equal to 2 then p of 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 5 these were 3 bits he is asking ma right. So, to solve the first bit what we have to do here solution first bit to find the k value what we have ma we know that we know sigma uh, sigma p of x i is equal to how much ma sigma p of x i is equal to how much i is equal to 1 to n is how much 1 that means these all probabilities if you add how much you should get maximum it is 1. So, therefore, what are the probabilities k plus 2k plus 3k plus 4k plus 5k plus 6k plus 7k plus 8k is equal to how much ma? 1. That means 3, 6, 10, 21, 28, 36. So, 36k is equal to 1. k is equal to how much ma? 1 by 36. That is it. That is your first bit. That is your first bit. You got the k value, right? Next, what is second bit is asking? What is second bit ma? P of x is less than or equal to 2. That means, uh, probabilities which are less than or equal to 2. That means, till here, right? So, P of, how many cases we get? P of x is equal to 1, 1 case. P of x is equal to 2. So, P of x is equal to 1 is how much ma? K plus P of x is equal to 2 is how much? 2k. So, k plus 2k, 3k. K value, how much we got already? 1 by 36. So, 1 by 12. 1 by 12. In this problem came in a previous uh, exam. So, all the students divide 1 by 13. I do not know how they divide. 3, 3 is a 6. Are. 3, 3 is a 9. No, 1 by 13, 1 by 13, 1 by 13. So many, all the students write 1 by 13. So, 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6. No, it is 1 by 12. But I do not know uh, uh, who started that mistake. So many students there out. Same mistake 1 by 13. Let us check it whether did I write. No, no, 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6. Right. Next. Then third bit, what is the third bit he is asking ma? Third bit, P of 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 5. That means between 2 and 5 and 2 and 5. That means start uh, from 2, P of x is equal to 2, P of x is equal to 3, P of x is equal to 4, P of x is equal to 5. Correct? So, P of x is equal to 2 is how much? 2k. So, 3 is 3k, 4 is 4k and it is? 5k ma that means 9 plus 5 14k so k is 36 1 by 36 so i am getting 14 by 36 if you want you can divide it 2 7s are 2 2 7 7s are 14 2 18s are 36 like this you need to solve these uh, uh, random variable problems ma okay so this is the uh, one uh, small problem on uh, random variable so in the next class we will uh, solve more problems on this uh, a random variable topic and will complete uh, this unit by solving those all problems in the next class ma okay so just practice this uh, problem and uh, go through those all definitions and write the notes notes is very very important okay when you start writing notes then you will understand what type of steps we are doing how we are solving 
and where we are applying uh, addition where we are uh, multiplying these all top the thing steps uh, you will come to know. If you just see the class no, you will understand by the time, but at the time of solving the problem, you won't get uh, proper steps and all, ma, right. So, just go through this uh, small class, then the next class will solve more problems on random variables, okay. Thank you.